I'm Janvi Rana and I got recently admitted to the master's program in chemical engineering at University of Washington. So based on my experience, I'm going to answer a few questions for you. So the first question is how to apply for master's in chemical engineering. So uh, just making in your head the decision that you are going to apply for the master's is in itself a very big decision. So it's a time consuming uh, decision. So once you have just made your mind, okay, uh, now I'm going to pursue my master's uh, in uh, this particular country, all you need is to start planning to apply for master's. So the process seems very easy. It tells you to do some SOPs, LORs, but it becomes overwhelming as it requires different applications for different colleges and you will also have multiple things on your plate while applying so for example if you are in final year you are applying so you'll have to deal with the final year exams or if you are working you are working so you just have some hours allocated to the work and uh, from the hours that's left you have to uh, plan for your master's application so um based on my experience i would uh, suggest some timeline based on a condition so if you are final year or working I would suggest around minimum six months to an year to plan before the deadline of applications to college uh, so this would give ample of time and you don't have to rush and submit mediocre applications to college so when you take uh, applying for master's program first of all it's expensive and uh, secondly, you are investing your time and you want return out of it. So try to give yourself ample of time. Don't rush. Like, And secondly, if you are really, really focused and just you have left your job and you are full time preparing for your master's applications. So I think four or five uh, months before the date of application should work. Um, now, um, for example, um, now you have to understand what's date of application. Uh, for example, if uh, your quarter starts in the fall, that's like during the September months. Um, so the application would have been started about six to eight months before. That's like December um, and um, December of the previous year. And to get all the materials ready by the end of December, you have to start six months ahead of that date. Like uh, if you're planning your intake in, for example, 2026, September 2026 so by uh, December 2025 you should have all your materials together and uh, you should complete your applications and uh, you have to plan six months on year before so you should start preparing for your master's applications about um, in June 2025 or earlier like January March 2025 so that's how much preparation you will require uh, and I think it's is like I just said uh, how focused you are and how much things are happening with you. Uh, so that's how you will have to decide your timeline. So once um, you have worked on the timeline, I just uh, I help you understand the process of applying um, uh, for the masters. So first and foremost is to select the purpose of doing masters. So um, I think um, what's your end goal after doing the masters? Is it job? Is it research? It's doing a PhD. So uh, having a clear idea will um, help you work uh, in different decision uh, while you are selecting colleges, while you are doing a lot of stuff. So that's very important to understand like what you will be doing after doing your master's. And if you're not having clear idea, that's also fine. But having some narrow down option will help you uh, work through the decision. The second is select the field or sub branch of doing masters so um for example if you have done bachelor's in chemical engineering and uh, you were applying for masters in the same field so you have got um higher chances but uh it should mostly align for your area of interest so i just think like you are coming outside you're going uh experience so try to do your masters in the field uh, that you are interested so for example I took minors in data science um, while doing chemical engineering uh, because I just wanted to learn uh, more on um, the data science stuff so you can also um, uh, pick up the field for example chemical engineering and you want to do nanotechnology so search the university and um, then apply to it 
um and i think um, i took minors in uh, data science and you can also enroll in other branches like industrial robotics and get admitted based on how you show in your interest aligns to your branch of applications so um so if you are chemical engineering you, you can apply masters in industrial aerospace engineering but um like what are your chances of getting will also determine like what kind of profile that you have built over your bachelor's years so um yeah so try to select the field and sub branch of doing your masters and most important make sure uh, it uh, holds your interest in that particular year uh, um, and also uh, the purpose of doing your master it helps you get there so that's how you should decide thirdly is select the university based on your interest cost and opportunities and shortlist them so um i think this process also will take a good amount of time because you will be doing the research of which institute to go where to go uh, like what's the cost of living for um, that one so i think applying to 8 to 10 university is good on cost while giving you option so uh, this will require good amount of your research and websites learning about place professors and what branches um, of interest they are um, giving to you and fourthly is taking gre tofil um i feel for most indians the quant side is um, pretty strong so um, but we uh, english is our second or third language and uh, we have to prepare and work for it so uh, like for um, prepare for gre so the gre takes about 1 to 3 months so if you're applying uh, to all university where it is waived so uh after covid some university had waived the gre uh, stuff so if you are if all of your universities um have no gre requirement you should just skip and not give it but if it is then this should take about 1 to 3 months um of preparation and for tofil a similar time i think you can uh use the same amount of month to prepare for gre and tofil uh, the exam patterns different but um mostly it's same so uh, one thing i would say that don't um, like um, if you are uh, good in english you might think a week or week or two might be uh, you can give an attempt but i think uh, give yourself sufficient time to give mock tests and practice so you get good score so at the end of the day you want good score so just giving few mock exams will help you identify the pattern of the exam and um, it will just be easy on you and i think uh, uh the fifth task is drafting your resume um i think uh, this might not be a uh, uh, a form of requirement that's uh, there for the application but once you draft your uh, resume uh, you are able to understand uh, you can draft your statement of purpose uh, much more easily um so i think this is helpful and um, just having it updated on linkedin and everything uh, is also essential um uh, i think um, you have to understand like when you draft your resume you have to put the relevant uh, experience according to uh, thing so if you're applying for an nanotechnology branch in chemical engineering if you have done any kind of research in that particular field this is very important like internship in sales job might not be relevant for chemical engineering unless you know how to link it like do the same for example um, like you can say you can pitch your ideas so you can say that okay i can um, research put my ideas to work i can get um, uh, collaborators on work so you have to understand how to uh, tailor your experience to the field you are applying um yeah getting official transcript so if you have it's just great but if you don't um, get your official transcript and all the documents ready while you were applying um so if you like first few people they just move out of town um then their college and uh, getting official transcript um takes time so just have that uh handy uh, now draft statement of purpose for each college and have specific details and get it reviewed so um yeah i think this also takes a good amount of time i think um, writing when i thought writing a statement of purpose i thought it's like a day or two job um and it should be over but i think once you uh, shortlist the college and you start preparing um 
the statement of purpose for each one it takes definitely a month or something 10 or 15 days um and if you are getting review feedback um i think it just takes longer time so uh, make sure to have some time for uh, the statement of purpose also and uh, request uh, lor and make contact so you can get in timely manner before application um so the people who will going to write your lor like your professors or in the job your manager um in informing them uh, in hand like in advance 2 to 3 months is always a good idea so they are aware that they will be uh, getting it and i think uh, for some time at the last moment at the last day of uh, uh, applications you don't you don't keep on waiting for their um, letter of reference and um, it just eases your processes and um, another step is arranging your finance so you have to be well aware of the tuition fees and you will need money to apply first of all so that's important and then you will require a lot of money post acceptance so just prepare in well so understanding the finance and everything um, is also a very very important part of um, this uh, application process and um, finally what i say is prepare yourself emotionally and mentally um one thing uh, because moving to a new country is a big change in your life uh, you will feel homesick and you will have a lot of experience so just preparing yourself uh, emotionally and mentally that, uh, and getting ready for this um, next step is just as important as the other ones uh, um, and um one uh, advice is that uh, especially for the engineering folks that we do the assignment at the last stage so i just say for the masters application apply at the start of the application date and not the end uh, like from my experience um i i in few colleges i just delayed my uh, application that like, okay i'll do it i'll do it and um, and boom the end date arrived and uh, a week or 3 to 4 days before the end date i was just waking the entire night and uh, i i think i wrote i did bad on that so just make sure that you apply at the start of the application so you can get everything done you can get it reviewed and then post it out so that's how is uh, is the process of applying to the masters for chemical engineering it seems easy but i think um, right amount of planning will get you admission in your required college thank you